love doing things that break the status quo, which is why we Raptor swapped an F-150 Lightning. Now you might think I'm talking about an engine swap, like Ella swapping a Mazda Miata, or Hellcat swapping an FDRX7, but Raptor swap literally means taking the suspension off an F-150 Raptor and putting it on a regular F-150, or in some cases, an Expedition. Now, like some crazy scientists from Jurassic Park, we decided to take the proven suspension off an F-150 Raptor and crossbreed it with the all new F-150 Lightning to bring you guys a world's first Raptor swap F-150 Lightning. All right, before I give you guys all the details on our Raptor Swap F-150 Lightning, we need a more appropriate setting, which is why we're headed to Rally Ready right outside of Austin, Texas. Before heading out, we decided to take the Lightning to Saline Performance and load it up on a trailer. Not because of range anxiety, but because we know we will be testing the limits of our Raptor Swap Lightning for the first time. So in the event that any parts fail, we will be able to get it back home. Right, guys so we're out here at rally ready out in austin texas huge shout out to our friend texas day for letting us use this awesome facility now i don't know everything about the raptor swap ford lightning but i got my good friends here with me from saline performance parts and tsw off-road to help me explain everything that's on this truck so alex whitelaw and dan webster from saline performance parts are going to help us break everything down so alex <laughs> dan <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, <laughs> hey, so talk to me about the suspension. It's like the most important part. It's like the meat and potatoes of this truck, on this truck, like starting with the front, like what was done to be able to make all this work? So the suspension was a challenging part, right? So uh, nobody has a book or instructions on doing this to such a new vehicle like the Lightning. There's a lot of changes with uh, getting rid of your tr traditional differentials, putting ele electric motors, a lot of the suspension did swap over for your upper and lower control arms, spindles, uh, small parts like that. But we, we did have to do a lot of homework as far as uh, axle shaft lengths, having custom axles made, uh, shock travel on bump and full extension, internal bypasses to function properly with the travel on this truck. So the parts used on there, were they all aftermarket or were they like some of the parts from like a National Ford Raptor? Uh, I would say about uh, half the parts were off of a uh, Gen 2 style Raptor. Okay. Uh, your lower control arm, your spindle would be factory Ford parts off of Gen 2. Um, the cool thing about the suspension that looks really cool too is the, uh, the Saline Performance upper control arms. They're fully adjustable, one piece billet. Uh, they give you adjustability on the top end of the suspension uh, as well as having the bottom end so you have more alignment capability. How did we, because I know the Ford Lightning is IRS or independent rear suspension. How did you get the Raptor parts to work on the rear end of the Lightning? We didn't. We completely uh, customized everything we did there. Okay, so everything is custom on the back end. <laughs> the rear shocks are the main part of what makes everything work and allows the rear end to keep up with the front end. As far as extending our travel numbers, uh, a huge upgrade with dampening as far as going to a 3.0 DSC shock uh, with an external reservoir and custom tuning, spring rakes, etc. So wheel tire combination, I see some method racing, are they actual beadlocks or? They are, yeah. So they're actual beadlock yeah. wheels yeah. and they're 35s? Uh, these are 35s. So we're running 35s all the way around and the fender flares, uh, are these off of Ford Raptor? So these are an actual Raptor flare uh, that we we modified and shaped uh, to make make fit this truck. So okay. once we got the suspension done, we saw how much poke was on the tires. We realized pretty quickly that, yeah. that we need to okay. have some protection on this. So. I'm kind of done talking about it actually. <laughs> so those are all the main points, right? Like that's, <laughs> all the main points. Yeah. that's all the main points. And this was all done in a collaborative effort 
Now I think we're ready to drive this thing and see what it can do. Yeah. What yeah. You guys say? Get to it. Do, who's yeah. driving? Nose goes? Or <laughs> no, you're driving? Do it. So, okay. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, cool. Let's go. All right. Here we go. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. As you can see, these two here built an extremely crazy truck. They set out to build a truck that would actually perform, and they did it. So you guys did an awesome job. You guys put it through the test out here at Rally Ready. It was awesome. Thanks. I mean, it's fun to take something and give your own touch. I am I live and breathe free runners, trophy truck stuff. That's, that's what we all love. And to take something mild and make it wild was just an awesome experience. Yeah, I did not expect to get any air <laughs> out of this thing. Yeah, we came out here not not thinking we were going to do that. We ended up. It just. It. I mean, it's highly capable. It. You know, we yeah. took. It's an electric vehicle. It's. It's. You know, it's just a stock. It's your Pro Series stock truck, and and we've showed. You know, how much fun you can have. And I think it's crazy. You brought this up. We're still at seventy eight percent. Still at seventy eight percent. We've been. We've been hooning around here. You know, <laughs> all day almost. And uh, yeah. yeah, we're still at seventy eight percent doing digs doing jumps, doing berms, running everything through the bases. Yeah, so that's absolutely crazy. I mean, to still have that much battery range and still have the big lift, wheels and tires, still, you know, kind of speaks to the kind of product that it is. So that's freaking awesome. But all right, guys, if you want to see some more of this crazy stuff, some more of the LJSV or Leaf Johnson Specialty Vehicle builds, make sure to check out this video on our LJSV Ford Maverick that we actually took to SEMA or check out any one of our other Leaf Johnson Ford videos. Until next time, guys, peace out. Is this thing on? How do you close this thing? <laughs> <laughs>